Hi there. Reporting on the latest developments at Tesla, a business that has been creating waves in the automotive industry for a while, excites me. As a long-term supporter of the business, I feel that Tesla's stock is cheap and that investing in the company calls for a special combination of creativity, perseverance, and patience above all else. First things first though, make sure you're a Wall Street Game subscriber. If not, now is the ideal moment to hit the subscribe button. Additionally, please give this video a huge thumbs up above. Even with its current volatility, Tesla is still likely to be a great long-term investment. Only seasoned investors may find it easier to ride out the roller coaster that comes with owning a Tesla. Despite the fact that Tesla's delivery and sales figures have not been steady, the firm is clearly doing exciting things and its auto manufacturing will probably continue to increase steadily. The amount of cars that Tesla can deliver has impacted the destiny of the company for a number of investors and analysts, and once again, analysts are beginning to project Tesla's delivery power for the year. Several of the top analysts in the business currently rate Tesla stock as a strong buy. Great news for the company, Tesla has reported record quarterly vehicle deliveries. The vehicle manufacturer did, however, lower prices in a number of areas, despite the slight quarter over quarter gain in sales. Tesla lowered the price of some of its vehicles as a result of growing competition and weak economic growth. Tesla lowered. The pricing of its vehicles globally in late 2022, more people were able to buy Tesla automobiles when the price of Model 3 and Model Y vehicles dropped in Australia, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Norway, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. Recent engineering advancements have enabled Tesla to lower production costs, supporting the company's choice to lower prices. Tesla is responding to China's request for concrete steps to further economic development and unleash the potential of domestic demand, according to Grace Tao, Vice President for Foreign Affairs at Tesla. This action is consistent with Tesla's long-term plan to increase its market share in China, one of the world's biggest markets for electric cars. Although Tesla's leadership responded positively, several observers argue that the price reductions did not provide the desired outcomes. Contrary to popular belief, there does not appear to be a significant increase in demand for Tesla as a result of these price reductions. It's crucial to remember, though, that a number of variables, such as the state of the industry, customer trends, and level of competition, affect how successful a price reduction strategy is. Notwithstanding the conflicting responses to its most recent price reductions, Tesla is still dedicated to its goals of advancing engineering advancements, broadening its global presence, and quickening the global shift to sustainable energy. It seems probable that Tesla will maintain its prominent position in the electric vehicle industry. Let's examine the figures now, though. For the first three months of the year, Tesla delivered 422,875 cars, up 4% from the previous quarter and 36% from the same time last year, according to Refinitiv data. When compared to analyst expectations of 430,008 vehicles, the first quarter deliveries is low. According to additional information, Wall Street had anticipated that Tesla would report quarter end car deliveries of about 432,000 units. Nevertheless, According to Tesla bull Gary Black, the company revealed that 421,500 automobiles were expected to be delivered based on the consensus of more than 20 analysts. Tesla exceeded Wall Street projections with its 422,875 vehicle deliveries, but it fell short of the number Refinitiv and other estimates examined. Furthermore, compared to the previous quarter, Tesla delivered 6% more of its standard Model 3 and Model Y automobiles in the first quarter of the year. On the other hand, deliveries of its more expensive Model X and Model S cars fell by 38%. It's also important to note that in the first three months of the year, the automaker manufactured 440,808 more cars than it delivered. All things considered, it's evident that Tesla is still innovating and making progress in the automobile sector. Tesla has been busy recovering from the lockdown that rocked China and stepping up production at new factories in Texas and Berlin, despite certain obstacles to overcome. The automaker said in a recent tweet that it was building. 4,000 Model Ys in a single week at its Texas plant and 4,000 cars a week at its German unit. Garrett Nelson, a CFRA analyst, recently upgraded Tesla stock to a strong buy rating with an increased price target of $275 from $200. Nelson reiterates his strong buy rating for Tesla, saying the company has a lot going for it. However, following Tesla's delivery report, Citigroup analyst Atai Mycilli stated he anticipates a minor decline in the company's shares. The widening gap between production and delivery will probably keep the focus on more price reductions in Q2 and Tesla shares may slightly decline with Q1 deliveries seen as an inline result due to a softer mix and persistent worries about inventory bills. Right now, investors and analysts are mostly concerned about Tesla's first quarter earnings announcement. Tesla's sales revenue increased by 70.64% to $53.8 billion in 2021 from $31.5 billion in 2020. Volkswagen is the second largest EV manufacturer behind Tesla based on market share and revenue. On January 25th, 2023, Tesla released its fourth quarter numbers, exceeding expectations in terms of revenue and earnings. 
The automaker recorded $21.3 billion in automotive revenue for the quarter, a 33% increase over the previous year. Tesla has weathered the storm better than other legacy automakers, and its strong quarter is just one more indication that it has done an amazing job of navigating through the logistical hurdles and global supply chain. Tesla has delivered more than 4 million cars as of right now. However, the automaker is confronted with a number of short-term challenges like its continuous high inflation, an impending economic downturn, a chronic worldwide chip shortage, and different supply chain problems. Tesla produced 47% more cars in 2022 than in 2021 and delivered 1,331,851 vehicles to consumers globally in spite of these obstacles. This represents an increase in deliveries of 40% over the previous year. Tesla produced impressive delivery statistics while rival automakers reported their lowest sales in 10 years. Will Tesla have a better year this year? It's still an open question. Tesla increased the size of its overseas facilities in 2022, adding the recently constructed Giga Berlin in Germany. By March of that year, the first Tesla automobiles were being manufactured at this facility. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, intends to transform Giga Berlin into a European gem. Additionally, the Chinese facility was upgraded to produce up to 750,000 Model 3 and Model Y electric vehicles a year. In 2022, Tesla set up production lines in all of its plants to build 100,000 Model S and X cars annually in addition to 1.8 million Model Y and Model 3 cars. Deepwater Asset Management Managing Partner Gene Munster believes that investors should prepare for a 25% decline in future earnings from Tesla shares as a result of recent price decreases. Although he has been a longtime supporter of Tesla and believes the stock is cheap, he is still apprehensive in the short run because of the impact on earnings brought on by some of the discounting that has occurred. Regarding Tesla's pricing reductions, Gene Munster stated that it would have been very unsightly if there hadn't been any price reductions. Although there was an uptick in Tesla's delivery rate, it was not as much as Musk had predicted. Nonetheless, Loop Ventures founder is still upbeat about the business and believes that there will be some compelling reasons to buy Tesla stock in 2023. The largest obstacle for Tesla has always been its value, but as the automaker's sharp increase in sales and earnings has shown, a company may eventually develop into a high venture valuation. Tesla has three ratios at the start of this year price to earnings under 30, price to cross sales under 5, and price to free cash flow under 50. Since then, as the stock price has increased, all three measures have also increased. Therefore, even if it's undeniable that the price of Tesla stock has increased from the start of the year, its valuation remains reasonable provided the firm can maintain its rapid growth. Even though buying Tesla shares at this time could be a smart move, it's crucial to keep your investment modest. Investing too much money, effort, or attention on a single investment is one of the biggest blunders one can make. When stock prices are plunging and there seems to be no way out, it is simpler to act impulsively the larger the investment. Consequently, the best course of action for the majority of investors may be to hold a modest but manageable stake in Tesla and then wait for the multi-decade investment thesis to materialize. Do you believe that shareholders of Tesla should hang on to their stock? Please share your thoughts with us below and don't forget to rate Tesla. Click on the next video that appears on your screen to find out more about Tesla's recent activities. I'll see you over there. We appreciate your time. And if you found this information interesting, please remember to subscribe, press the like button, and enable notifications so you can be informed about all things Tesla. I'm grateful.